This is 45 months on HRT. Um, and this, the last week, um, what has happened? Just the same thing as always, just a little bit of breast pain, um, itchiness, whatnot. Um, my breasts are up in size, like the tissue and whatnot. So, um, see what else can I think of? Um, my butt seems like it's bigger. Um, feels like it's like it's yeah. Feels like it's bigger. Like I have more. And one of the reasons I can tell is my um, underwear seems like it's the way it used to fit fits a little bit smaller now that tells I'm gaining a little bit I'm in that area and that also affects your hip measurement so yeah so that's good I guess um makes it so pants fit better so that's a good thing. Um, I noticed, if you look at my hairline, that's what my hairline looks like. Um, it used to be up, let's say about right here, to where my fingers are. You can see where my finger is, how much further down. Yeah, it's gone down that much so and that's good um like the um, other physical thingies like I should say like sperm um fat is down yeah I have less of that but not as where it was because I'm not taking the um finished right right now because I don't need to get that filled so yeah um, my leg hair just seems like it's still doing the same thing so yeah um, my measurements really haven't changed so still my plus has been measuring 36 inches but the tissue there's a little bit more and the under bust is 32 still. My waist is still 27. And my lower waist is still 29. And I haven't, yeah, last I measured my hips, it was 34 and a half. So hopefully I can gain that half an inch. So it'll be 35. That will help with clothing fitting better um yeah i need to tighten that but um other than that um the only makeup you may see a little bit of mascara on other than that um no makeup so that's what i look like without makeup on and i need to have my eyebrows it looks like need to have the lower part of my eyebrows done again um, um yeah I still need to get that touch up for laser but as of now um no I'm not going to just yet until I say it start saving a little bit more money which is it won't cost me that much just to have one touch up so which is for the full face which is that's why I'm planning on doing which but also include the eyebrows and have them do that at the same time It'd be around $45 and have one touch up done on my underarms I'd be like $25 I think is what they said um so yeah um so other than that um if you hear any noises in the background it's the dog yeah, and I decided to do the video in this room again because of lighting.
it's a little bit better. So, um, this is what my breasts look like um, as of today. You can see. junior sizing so yeah like because I measure 32d but I feel like it's going to be much bigger like fuller than what it is right now so and you can see my waist um and you can also see my hips right there yeah um you can see that I noticed um, my um, hips, um, you can see, still see this side, it's not as curved as this side, because the scoliosis and whatever the condition is, it's not, the other one's not scoliosis, what's the other one? I just can't remember what it's called, but you can see my hips, how they um, stick out more. Can see that I end up um, very happy that my like waist, the hips are that curve going like this. You can see that round curve more towards the hourglass shape. Um, I'm very very happy because of that. Very happy because. It's not that boy shape at all. So, yeah. Um, other than that, I measured my hair. You can see all this. Um, all of this. I practically grabbed it like that and pulled in the longest point. You can see how far down it goes. I measured that and with it pulled straighter because um, curly hair when it's not pulled down that's what it looks like and when it is pulled down you can see the difference yeah that difference um and um it ends up it's it was last year, I think I measured it, towards the beginning of last year. Somewhere around there, I measured it last 17 inches. Now, it's 21 inches. 
Yeah, so it's like 17, 17, 18, 19, 20. So like, yeah, four, it's grown four inches in a year. That tells you how fast my hair grows. Grows four inches each year, practically. And I've been growing my hair out since April 24, 2009. And when I looked at the clock, it said 12 a.m. because my mom's cutting it. I remind my mom, you need to be cut. Um, it's because when I was working at Lagoon before I transitioned, I was like, I did it just for um, that and to donate it at the same time. Um, and because I needed the job at the time. And now it's um, in a different situation, but at that time, um, I used the, like that money went towards laser. A lot of that money, like a lot of the money I've ever had, like a big chunk of it, it's gone towards this transition. So most of it, hormones and laser hair removal and a whole set of new clothes. That's where, yeah. So it's not cheap, um, just cause I end up being transgender, like transsexual. Um, it's if I didn't have to transition, um, to get better, or if I wasn't this way. I've never done this, but since I am transgendered in this way, and I know I'm this way, I can't change that. And I know everything I do know now. Um, I'm glad I spent that much money so far. And the most expensive is going to be the surgery. So hopefully that can happen soon. But my thoughts on the surgery is. Um, and my thoughts are, I want to go to Marcy Bowers because I have that had the, I had that feeling that if I didn't, something bad was going to happen. Um, and every time I researched the surgery or seen something on TV, like like when I, like on Comcast, if you go on demand, how there's all this stuff you can go through to watch, it's like back a long time ago in 2000, I think it was like around 2006, seven, something around there, around 2005, six, something like that. Um, I watched the thingy and it was about Marcy Bowers and some other people who they had surgery and what it's like and everything. And that's when I found out about Marcy Bowers, and every time after that, I research it kept coming up Marcy Bowers constantly. But I don't have to, like, when I contacted them to see how much it would cost, they're trying to keep the cost low, but it's gone up like $3,000. So it was like 23000 It was like, it's gone up $1,000, or something like that. But it's like $23,000, so it's like, I can't afford that, so. And all the other surgeons I found here in the United States, not anywhere else outside the United States, but here in the United States, I can't remember the surgeon's name, but he's in Florida, the University of Miami Research Center, I think it's in, somewhere around there. Um, um, that's where I may end up going instead of going to California with Marcy Bowers. It's because in Florida, going to him, it would be $8,000 instead of 23000 And it would be more easily to get $8,000 saved up. I almost did at one time, except I ended up using the money for hormones, doctor visits, laser hair removal, 
part of it was to get my name gender changed legally, the name sex changed legally, have that changed, and that, and I had to get more new clothes and therapy. <laughs> therapy is expensive, and since my therapist had retired back in March, I think it was, ended up retiring something around there. Um, I have, it's because I don't have insurance right now, which I'm still in the process. They it's kind of irritating because they want me to, to um, have more stuff done, so. But I don't have a therapist, so I'm saving money there, but as soon as I can get a therapist, I already know someone. Because um, I need to have a therapist to have the letter and everything, so I'm gonna have to have that letter for surgery. So when that time comes, yeah, it'll happen. I have a feeling it's gonna happen, and everything's gonna be all right. And then I'm gonna live really happily after the surgery for a long time. And it's how I feel. Um, just can't wait for it, so that's my thoughts on the surgery. Um, um, yeah, that's the dog. <laughs> May have seen another video. And there's the other dog. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's my thoughts on the surgery. And I still want, um, have a girlfriend and um I still want to have a kid of my own so I really can't do anything about that right now when it happens it happens so it's the kind of thoughts I have but even though my mood's been going up and down and just because of hormone changes um, and I've um, still been really happy I've been yeah still been happy um so yeah about the changes and how because I noticed because right now how my breasts are growing now they're they have gotten bigger how my breasts have gotten bigger. Um, I've been happy because of that, so very happy. Um, as long as they keep going to where I'll be able to wear a D cup soon or eventually, then I'll be happy. Um, so when I get to that point where I can wear a D cup, like a 32D, which is I should be able to start fitting in some now, but not all, just like very little. So, of what's out there, like the 32 Ds that the cups are, like the cups on the bra are on the smaller side, like less fabric and material. I should be able to fit in those ones and the ones like that, they're like the ultimate push-up bras and whatnot. I should be able to fit in that because my ultimate push-up bra, like I've mentioned, the one I have now, it doesn't fit as well as it should So, because it's on the smaller side, so I need to go up a cup size in that style, so yeah. But and my other push-up bras are coming very close. I mean, it's like this close to where my areolas are about to fall out of the bra. So, in the push-up bras, I would have to start, when I get new ones, and that time comes when I get new ones, get D cups, where the cups are on the smaller side, so, because I'm still on the small side, so... Yeah, 32D is how I measure, but a small 32D, so. So, yeah. Other than that, um, I'm happy. 
with all the changes so far. Uh, I still haven't changed my earrings since I put these ones in because I'm still waiting for it to heal a little bit because for some reason it got really badly infected and I had to drain it. Then the earrings I was wearing was getting really crusted over and getting stuck in my ears. Where I just ended up just changing it to the ones that were used when my ears were pierced to begin with. So yeah, um, so I've been wearing these ones so till it heals up enough. So other than that, um, nothing else is really going on, um, except you can see how in this room, how the walls are just like white, and it looks like there's, you may be able to see. It looks like there's stuff on the walls, like around this area. Yeah, and what we're basically doing is fixing up what needs to be fixed up and house, giving it like a facelift and everything. So, just been working on this room, the hallways, and the kitchen, getting the walls ready to be painted removing wallpaper and whatnot so other than that um getting the upstairs done first before the basement where my room is um and the reason why i'm doing the video here is because the lighting in my room which is i usually do my videos in my room now um because yeah the lighting sucks because the um, light fixture in that room needs to be changed and whatnot. It's a whole long story. But other than that, I'm doing good. So, if you have any questions or just want to comment on anything, ask me any questions, personal questions, or anything about transition or anything, just ask anything. And I'll be glad to answer when I'm able to. I'm sorry about all the other videos, how they've been really, really, really late being uploaded. It's not because I um, don't have the videos done, they're done. But the thing is, right now I don't have the internet. It wasn't, yeah. So when this is uploaded, it may be someone else's internet I'm using. So, yeah. Other than that, um, I'm doing good, and it's one thing I just barely thought of, um, how my voice is now, um, how feminine it is and everything. I was just thinking, um, what if I right now tried doing a guy voice, like the natural male voice that I was born with after puberty and whatnot. But I'm going to try it. If it sounds weird or looks weird, it's not my fault. It's how it is. And that voice has changed. I can't fully go back into it. So, yeah. Um. um. This is um, as the best I can do um, in a natural male voice, um, how it naturally is. You can hear that it's really scratchy and how my voice is. I can't fully go back and you can also hear how soft it is. It's much softer and when I talk in this voice, because I haven't been using it, like 100% of the time, maybe like less than, see, like half percent, half of that, half of that, half of that, and half of that. Like a point zero zero percent. Yeah. So, um, this is what it sounds like. And right through here is where I can feel it starting to strain my voice. So, 
yeah um <clears throat> so I can't use it for very long and I can also feel right through up into here my um really affects my own voice I can't use it the way I used to be able to um so when I um use a male voice like that it really 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 hurts and you kind of hear that it's made my own female voice a little bit scratchy because it does hurt really bad to um through right here this area especially right here and through this vocal area it hurts really bad to use a male voice so I tend to not do that um sometimes I will do it just to see what it sounds like or if I can still do it but I prefer not to because it hurts too bad so yeah other than that um if I like you know how girls try to make a guy voice I guess I can do it that way like how my sister was doing one time how girls try to imitate a guy voice yeah um, I can do that but I'm not going to um, because my vocal cords through the side right in this area is hurting really bad right now so just from that male voice that short time yes so um, yeah so until next time comment rate and subscribe and click the link for my blog and I am going to set up another surgery fund it's gonna be through the same website and everything so I'm just it's gonna be a new link and everything so it will be in the description in one of my videos so disregard all the links in my old videos those aren't accurate so it's gonna take time to update all that so I will get another one set up and yeah I'll let you know and all that's done and whatnot to help raise money for my surgery and that money that has been raised for my surgery it helps but it's not quite enough um, at least over a hundred dollars for my surgery so with everything from savings and whatnot so when I start able to like like steady income I'm gonna try to save as much as possible and if when I have the surgery fund if you can help with that um, donate or notify people or something when that time comes when I mention and all that set up so yeah other than that um, I'm happy you guys should be happy to to be yourselves so and if you need actual advice or anything please ask any questions that's why I'm doing these videos here on YouTube to help any of you that needs to help and to show what happens each week like week by week with what happens with the physical changes and if any of you need help with any questions or anything regarding surgery or how to do something um daisy stop shut it yeah sorry about that um if you need any help or anything please ask that's what I'm here for I've helped a lot of people already and I'm willing to help and I really 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 want to help more people so if you just need any information or anything or want to ask something please ask ask you can either private message me or put a comment below and ask me something um, on any videos or anything I'll be glad to um, help and ask like answer your, your questions that you've asked so yeah so until next time please 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 comment rate and subscribe 
and the link to my surgery funds down will be down there when it's set up and my blog is also always always down there which is I haven't had time to do the blog yet and I'm planning on doing it. It's going to be done soon. can't tell you how soon, but there's going to be more up there. So, And if you haven't seen it yet, or checked out, or subscribed to my blog, or following my blog, I should say, please, because if you follow my blog, then you will automatically, you, yeah, whenever I post something, when you check yeah, the thingy out, you be know about it so much easier. So when it's when one's uploaded, yeah. So if you're following if you follow my blog when I post one, you'll be notified. Yeah through where you following my blog so yeah so other than that please comment rate and subscribe and the links always are down there